Hello, hello, hello. Today in this video, we're gonna learn about how to convert Sketchfab models to a 5M ready. So in this video, we're gonna cover how to get the model, which one is the right model to import, how to give them shaders. You know, shaders mean the color you are giving, and all these things. And I will tell you about how we can get the detailed textures to it so let's get to sketchfab 5 and let's find a model sketchfab tags uh i have made a video for example maybe easter egg mm, not a beautiful easter egg it is but yeah still uh maybe this one no this one is an i mean animation uh this one it look it looks cool too so we just gonna download it and it's great if it has not obj gtlf file it is okay so i will download the gltf file it's gonna download it so wait, the download has been done so let's let's go to our let's go to our file explorer see where it is downloaded just ext extract it so let's see if there is uh, here are the texture and here are the scene gltf texture uh, okay texture basically i know these textures there's a normal roughness and base so let's import it in our blender import the file is g dot g l t f go, go to the downloads happy easter scene g and oh before this this as we do always do just delete this okay, now the model is here so you know you can see that it is in drawable state so we just gonna unlink it yeah i know this is gonna happen just to this just unlink it now just rotate it uh press r v axis just rotate it and control a all transform now if you see the rotation inside everything is fine the scale is all one and the location is zero 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 so if we go to this uh you can see why it is taking so much load this is because of this shader so yeah this is because of this heavy shader so this is not a gta ready yet so what we gonna do is give go to the solemn tools it's the best tool for converting g into props into gta's and i will pin the comment of the solums tool or you can just type it the solums tools blender plugin and you will get that so in general it is a vertex painter so this uh, select your object and what it does like uh i'm not gonna explain in this video i'm gonna make it another video for it so just you have to make it red paint so that light won't come in and after if you want collision you can make it if you don't want it just leave it then you have to convert it to the shader and whenever we got three files of, of this kind we basically do normal spec normal what the heck yeah normal spec just give it a shader just if you go into it there will be a two shaders i guess one one of this and one of i have given the normal spec yeah it's gonna load because of this heavy shader so yeah see here just delete this we have our normal spec just now go to the shading and if you want to really give this shader a like um, the color if you want give a default color like like blue red etc etc you can just go to the solemn plugins go to Drawables, go to shaders and 
give it a default shader then it will be a picture shader this is also a picture shader but it's a bit like mm, what did we what do we say like it's detailing it has detailing so we just go to this texture and find the this is roughness diffuse this is the diffuse file and yeah this is jpg we have to convert it to the dds file first so just go to your uh, don't go to here just i have these resources this is called folders to ytd just click on it this is a very useful tool to convert the models just cause this uh, i want this folder to be open not this one the texture one like this and just drag it i just select it and dd side convert it it's working on to a form which is converted to the last one obviously it's open in the file so we will got two files i guess we got a two files bump and diffuse and the color one is converting yeah it has converted so we just go and refresh it so here is a dds file let's open it so it will be our default color diffuse and spec is our basically our roughness and where is the roughness part yes and here is your boom file boom one is the blue file to the structure and dd select so yeah i know it is like not looking very good so what we gonna do we gonna do like uv editing uh, why is this taking so much time oh map yeah select all control control not control just go to the uv tab and smart uv project unwrap it yeah. now if you see this you can just select it all just resize it whatever i don't i don't want to resize it just go to layout and now you know the detailing is not much very visible so we just gonna do it to like this data file go to selected object go to data files go to uv map and just add a space zero to it and yeah here you go this is your full textures i know this is not looking very good too as so you can change this to uv editing now just whatever you want to do just you can just change it and you know the whole scene gonna change it i see here is like more matched up so basically the uv map Z space zero gives you the detail you want you are looking for and now just go to materials uh just convert all materials and set all textures embedded now this is done now if we want to make the collisions just go to the so this just go to the and just always remember this is no not how mlo's work this is prop this is not a mlo mlo works in mlo we have to make a ytyp uh we gonna ytyp this time also but in mlo's we gonna make the portals entity we have to link everything and it's like so many steps so don't don't make your mlo with these steps so we're gonna go to collisions create uh, not create bounds create collision material and what is this maybe a concrete because it is a prop and i guess i gonna go to the contract you can go anything just create a collision material now if you go to the concrete yeah okay my bad my bad guys first you have to make it a drawable and auto just remember this if you are making a prop just click on this and convert to drawable mode now if you go this you have a collision material yeah here is your collision material now just you have to select it collision and create a collision material if you delete this and just always remember this is our main file this is our collision we don't want colors in our collision so just remove this if you add the collision one so it is done 
basically yep so that's all and now we're gonna go to the archi architect type plus one just make it a uh, easter underscore test underscore egg okay so make it like this name okay so yeah and just select it just select on it select it base as a base and auto create and we have everything in right there just you can change the alert additions to already like and then we're gonna ch don't change it here we're gonna change it into code worker so export your ytyp i'm gonna export and make a new folder easter egg exported in this now if you want to just export just yeah select hierarchy so that these folders are also selected press v go to export code worker xml now go to your easter egg folder and just export it it's gonna take a time because the shaders are heavy and i will not try to tell yep. Let's export it now. Let's go to the code worker and do the things. So, uh, so now we open the code worker and we go to the tools and open our explorer. I have made a folder modes. So just edit mode. Go to that mode. Click. Just make sure it is on. Just drag it, and it will take some time too. So our files has been imported, and if we click on this yeah here you can see our crop model and if you go to the night and inside it it won't cheese because i will tell you everything in like the next video because this is not an mlo videos that we 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 gonna cover and yes guys make sure to subscribe it because many of you watches but do not subscribe and yes we are launching a new series too it's an anime series like anime how to make animation like anime and you know everything like to shaders how to give them that anime look if we are looking for a scene and we want to make a photo 3d photos yeah we're gonna do everything and yes we're gonna continue our gta 5 series also so bye bye guys and wait 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 i don't I didn't tell you how to like make it work now. So just drag it back to your original folder. Just kill it, uh, cross it. Just open it. Now, uh, if I just want to press T, open a folder. Yeah, here you can see open a folder. And we're gonna like, go to the desktop. And where is our uh, Easter egg? Select the folder and just select it on this new mark and make it your file. Like, what is the name here? Easter egg. Here is your new map. Just go to wire map, new entity, new entity. Now, just change the name of it and make it the LOD like 500. It's on totally depend on you. Just always remember to change it here also in your archetype. Just make it 500 load distance here too just go to just go to the move tool and just say just move one time so the load is work and yeah here you can see that our easter egg is loaded in the world so what you have to do is like whenever you place it like if i want to place it here in the above just after placing it go to tools and manifest generate click on generate and save manifest on your desk folder that's how it works so bye bye guys that's for the video don't forget to subscribe